And on the optics of the last couple of days, President Biden has made a personal decision when he has encountered former President Trump not to share a handshake with him, which Vice President Harris did twice in the span of 24 hours. Does he agree with that decision? Does he believe that that was... She's in her own person. The Vice President is her own person. She's is allowed to do what she feels uh, is the best thing to do. I, I cannot speak for how she uh, engages with the former president. She's her own person. Uh, and the president has his reasons. I'll and leave it there. Quickly, just a clarification on the president's comments on Ukraine. He said earlier this week when asked about the possibility to change the policy for Ukraine to use long-range weapons <coughs> into Russia, he said we're working on it. A U.S. official <coughs> later clarified that there was no change in policy. Can you say what exactly is being worked on? So I'm not going to get into the uh, del uh, policy del deliberations here in public. What I can say is basically what I said in answering another co one of your colleagues' uh, questions about Ukraine specifically, obviously, which is that we want to make sure our focus is making sure that Ukraine has what it needs uh, to defend itself, to win back their territory, their sovereign territory, to win that back. And so that's what our focus is, and that's what we're going to continue to do. Uh, we, have con we have shown, and this president has shown and continues to show, a tremendous amount of support for Ukraine. His leadership has been very clear, clear and out front, uh, making sure that NATO is stronger, uh, adding two more NATO members. That was because of the president's late leadership. More than 50 countries he was able to bring together to support Ukraine as they continue to bravely fight uh, for their freedom. And that's our commitment. I'm not going to get into policy deliberations from here.